India's UPI is now international. Non-resident Indians can now use UPIs for seamless and safe transactions and transfers in multiple countries. I'm not talking technicalities, but it is a matter of fact that India's rupee probably has performed much better than many other emerging market currencies. But there is one more thing that India is doing that is much larger than UPI, and that is making the rupee go international. How does a currency become international, and is it beneficial or is it risky for India? These are the core questions. Hello and welcome to The Core Questions. What is an international currency? If you ever travel to Mexico, Egypt, Bermuda, Lebanon, or Zimbabwe and run out of their respective currency, you can pay in restaurants and shops in US dollars. The US dollar was and still is an international currency. An international currency is a currency that is widely used as a form of payment in multiple countries. So why is it that you can give an American dollar but not an Indian rupee in Mexico? For this, we have to take a step back and look at history. Before money even came into the picture, civilizations worked with a barter system. A barter system is where goods or services are exchanged for one another without using money as an intermediary. Unsurprisingly, a few problems arose with the barter system, including not being able to make deferred payments, a lack of a common measure value for everyone, and difficulty in storing goods. The introduction of currency solved all these problems. Basically, a piece of paper now had value, and more importantly, along with the exchange of paper notes, trust is also exchanged. A currency has no value without trust, and the more that traders trust a currency, the more value it has. During colonization, the UK pound became an international currency in world trade. After the Bretton Woods Agreement of 1944, the existing gold standard was replaced with the US dollar as the global currency. And in 1973, the USA, in exchange for American political and military protection, required OPEC, or Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, to sell only in US dollars. That's how America became a superpower. Today, the US dollar, the euro, the Japanese yen, the British pound, and to an extent, China's yuan, are among the most actively traded currencies in the world because more than themselves, other countries can use them and therefore value them. India is internationalizing the rupee so that eventually the rupee is also valued like the US dollar or the British pound in many countries. Now, internationalizing the rupee is nothing new. In 2013, the Reserve Bank of India, or the RBI, allowed foreign investors to hold masala bonds. These were rupee-denominated bonds and basically made it easier for foreign investors to buy and sell rupee-denominated assets. In 2015, the RBI also allowed foreign investors to trade in rupee-denominated derivatives, such as currency futures and options. This further increased the accessibility of the rupee to international investors. In 2019, the Indian government began a process of liberalizing the rupee by allowing more flexibility in the exchange rate. This made the rupee more attractive as a reserve currency. It's actually quite a strategic time for the rupee to go global. India's economy is growing rapidly with more trade and investment between India and other countries. This increases the demand for the rupee. India is also becoming a more important destination for foreign investment. Many multinational companies are setting up operations in India to take advantage of the country's large and growing market. And speaking of foreign investment, according to RBI data, foreign portfolio investments in India have grown from $12 billion in 2008 to $80 billion in 2020. In addition to this, internationalization of the rupee is strategic for India in multiple ways. It'll help make the country's economy more integrated with the global economy, which will create more opportunities for trade and investment. Internationalization of the rupee will also help make the rupee more stable and predictable, which will make it a more attractive currency for international investors. Moreover, digital technologies have made it way easier to transfer money across borders and to hold digital assets like cryptocurrencies, for example. These technologies are making it easier for more and more people to use the rupee in international transactions, which is increasing the demand for the rupee globally. With this being said, there are some potential risks associated with the internationalization of the rupee. The rupee could become more volatile if there is too sudden an increase in demand for it. Volatility is never a good thing. The value of the rupee would fluctuate more, which would make it very difficult for investors and businesses to plan for the future in terms of trade and conducting business in India. 
Another risk is that as the rupee gets more active globally, the dollar and pound would compete with it along with other currencies. This could potentially lead to a devaluation of the rupee, which would make Indian goods and services more expensive in international markets. Coming back to the core question, is there a way to make the rupee go international without any risk? The short answer is yes. In 2020, the rupee was the ninth most traded currency globally, accounting for 2% of global forex trading volume. For the internationalization of the rupee to be successful long term, the government must work to reduce the risks associated with the rupee going global. Good news is that PM Narendra Modi is doing exactly that. In 2022, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman stated that India received 65% more FDI during the Modi regime as compared to 10 years of the UPA government. In fact, the rupee is already going international. In December 2022, India and Russia completed their first trade settlement in rupees as part of the International Settlement of Trade. Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Mauritius and some other countries are already considering the settlement of bilateral trade in Indian rupees. Saudi Arabia and UAE may also start payment mechanisms in rupee. It's important to note that the internationalization of the rupee is an ongoing process that will be shaped by India's growing economy and global trends. If done strategically, the rupee going global will be beneficial to India as it would further integrate our economy with the global economy, creating more opportunities for trade and investment and make the rupee more stable and predictable and in demand across the planet. Thanks for watching the core questions. Like and share this video and leave your comments below. Watch out for a new episode drop. Until next time, this is Priyanka Deo signing off. Namaste.